Bonjour la classe. Le titre aujourd'hui, c'est Ma routine, ta routine. To start, I'd like you to copy out the vocab grid and fill it in using the options from the blue boxes on the right hand side of the screen. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Je me lève. I get up. Je prends le petit déjeuner. I have breakfast. Je me douche. I have a shower. Je me coiffe. I do my hair. Je m'habille. I get dressed. Je me lave les dents. I clean my teeth. Je quitte la maison. I leave the house. Je me lave. I have a wash. Je me couche. I go to bed. Today we're going to be talking about daily routine and using reflexive verbs. We're going to begin by looking at the grammar. Reflexive verbs. Now reflexive verbs include a reflexive pronoun, me, te, se, etc. and the verb. They are often used for actions you do to yourself. So in our list from earlier they were the ones that had the green me component. So je me lève, I get up, je me douche, I have a shower, je me coiffe, I do my hair, je m'habille, I get dressed, je me lave les dents, I clean my teeth, je me lave, I have a wash, et je me couche, I go to bed. All of these are actions involving yourself. If we look at the verb in its entirety, we see the different components. So je me lave, I have a wash, tu te laves, you have a wash, il, elle, se lave, he or she has a wash, on se lave, we have a wash, nous nous lavons, we have a wash, vous vous lavez, you, that's a group in the plural or you in the singular but formal, have a wash, il, elle, se lave, they have a wash. We're now going to look at the vocabulary that helps us describe our daily routine. After each picture, once I've said it, I'd like you to practice repeating after me to practice speaking. Je me lève. Je prends le petit déjeuner. Je me douche. Je me coiffe. Je m'habille. Je me lave les dents. Je quitte la maison. Je me lave. Je me couche. For today's daily routine topic, we also need to revise the time. Now, you should have learnt this in year seven, but this is a quick bit of revision on how to tell the time in French. Quelle heure est-il? means what time is it? And this answer would be il est une heure. It is one o'clock. Heure meaning hour. Okay, it is one hour. Please repeat after me. Il est deux heures. Il est trois heures. Il est quatre heures. Il est cinq heures. Il est six heures. Il est sept heures. Il est huit heures. Il est neuf heures. Il est dix heures. Il est onze heures. Now, do you remember how to tell the time here? It would be, it is midday. Correct. Il est midi. And if you were talking about midnight, you'd just say, Il est minuit. Okay, but Albert Einstein asks us, how do you say quarter past, half past and quarter two? Can you remember this from year seven? Okay, so quarter past. Il est onze heures et quart and a quarter.
half past. Il est cinq heures et demie, and a half. Quarter to, il est sept heures moins le quart. So what time would that be in English? Correct, 6.45. This literally means it is seven hours minus the quarter. But then Albert says to us, well, what about other times past the hour? For instance, 20 past or 10 too. Can you remember the rule with those? Okay, so to say 20 past, we'd say, il est 3 heures 20. What's the difference between il est 3 heures 20 and il est 3 heures et quart? Correct, we no longer have the et there, okay? It is three hours 20 is what you're saying, or in better English, it is 20 past 3. Il est 8 heures moins 10. Okay, the difference before, it was moins le quart. When you're doing a different number to quarter, you use moins without the le, so moins 10. It is 8 hours minus 10. So we'd say it is 10 to 8 in English. We're now going to combine those daily routine activities with the timings that we've just revised. I'd like you to write one to nine and I want you to try and note down what time they do the activity. If you're not sure on your times, you might want to revise that one more time before doing this listening. Un. Je me lève à six heures et demie. Deux. Je prends le petit déjeuner à 7 heures moins le quart. Toi, je me douche à 7 heures. 4. Je me coiffe à 7 heures et quart. 5. Je m'habille dans ma chambre à 7 heures 20. 6. Je me lave les dents à 7 h 25. 7. Je quitte la maison à 7 h et demie. 8. Le soir, je me lave à 10 h moins le quart. 9. Et je me couche le soir à 10 h if you've got any gaps, I'd like you to listen back to that one more time before I go through the answers. You can do that by rewinding the video. Number one, F, 2, D, 3, B, 4, A, 5, E, 6, H, 7, C, 8, I, 9, G. And make sure you're ticking your work, as I will be checking uh, that you've done that work at some point, okay? In the textbook, we find an article about the routine of a scientist in the Antarctic. I'd like you to listen as I read it to you. Réchal Dubois, scientifique, a 22 ans. Elle habite sur la base du Mont de Ville en Antarctique parce qu'elle travaille pour l'Institut polaire français. Le matin, elle se lève à 6 heures. Ensuite, Elle se douche très rapidement, elle se lave et puis elle se rince en 30 secondes parce que l'eau est une ressource précieuse. Après, elle prépare son petit déjeuner dans la cuisine. Quand elle s'habille, elle met une salopette et en gros un oracle parce qu'il fait extrêmement froid. Minus 35 degrés en hiver. Pendant la journée, elle travaille comme météorologue, elle observe le temps. Le soir en semaine et le week-end, Rachel et ses collègues regardent des films ou ils lisent dans la bibliothèque. D'habitude, ils se couchent assez tôt, mais parfois, ils se lèvent pendant la nuit à deux heures. Pourquoi? On peut voir l'aurore polaire qui illumine le ciel. C'est magique. What I'd like to do for your first task is see if you can find the following words or phrases in the text. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through those in a moment. Un. 
scientifique de elle travaille pour toi le matin 4 très rapidement 5 elle se rince 6 son petit déjeuner 7 une salopette 8 extrêmement froid 9 météorologue 10 ils lisent dans la bibliothèque I'd now like you to reread the text and then see if you can copy and complete the seven phrases below in English I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment Number one, Rachel works at the French Polar Institute in the Antarctic. There is not much water, so Rachel washes herself quickly. Rachel dresses in ski wear because it's extremely cold. During the day, she works as a weather forecaster. In the evenings and at the weekends, Rachel and her colleagues watch films or they read in the library. Usually it is quite early when they go to sleep. Sometimes the southern lights are visible so they get up during the night at 2am to see them. We now have a text from Luke, who's also a scientist in the Antarctic. I'm going to read it to you. Je m'appelle Luc et je suis aussi scientifique à l'Institut Polaire en Antarctique. En semaine, je me lève à 5 heures. Je me lave et puis je m'habille dans ma chambre. Je prends le petit déjeuner dans la cuisine. Après, je me brosse les dents et je vais au labo parce que je suis biologiste. D'habitude, je finis mon travail à 16 heures. Le soir, je parle avec ma famille sur Skype ou je lis. Je me couche à 21h30. Le week-end, quand je ne travaille pas, je me lève à 8h30. Vers 9h, Je prends le petit déjeuner à la cantine avec mes collègues. Pendant la journée, je vais au gymnase, je discute avec mes collègues et parfois je joue sur ma PlayStation. Le week-end, je me couche à 22 heures. For your homework today, I'd like you to try and translate that text into English. I've given you some words to help you. And as usual, it's going to be a competition. So the first correct translation I receive will receive three merits on ePraise and after that I'll give out one merit for any good ones. As usual it'll be really helpful if you click completed on ePraise so I can tell that you've done the work and I hope you're all well. Au revoir la classe!